today I am going to solve a typical combination of letter and number puzzles ok just see the diagram here you will find both the letters and numbers put in a small fragment of a square shape diagram ok so let's start to solve this so how will you be able to solve this uh, puzzle ok this is a typical puzzle which many of you will find in your exam paper ok so let's jump to the logic just consider the first row in each row there are three small sections ok top left and top right sections have numbers and the middle section have letters ok so in case of first row if we multiply the number what we get 7 into 2 equal to 14 now C, D and G if we put the corresponding numbers of the noted letter so what we get C for 3 D for 4 and 7 for G and if we add the numbers so what we get 3 plus 4 plus 7 so just a minute First consider C, D and G. C equal to 3, D equal to 4 and G equal to 7. So C plus D plus G equal to 3 plus 4 plus 7 equal to 14. So the simple logic is that the multiplication of top left corner, the number uh, uh, put in top left corner and top right corner equal to the sum of all the letters put in the middle code, middle section ok now just implement the similar logic in case of all the remaining rows so what we get for the second row 4 into 5 equal to 20 now G plus G plus F equal to 7 plus 7 plus 6 equal to 20. Now, in case of third row, 6 into 3 equal to 18 and F plus H plus D equal to 6 plus 8 plus 4 equal to 18. Similarly, the fourth row 7 into 2 equal to 14 and B plus P plus J equal to 14 and in case of last row 5 into 6 equal to 30. So we have to get 30 by adding the numbers of this, this and the question mark. So Q plus F plus question mark equal to 30. Now, what is for F? It's 6. What is for Q? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So, 4, 4, 4, 4, 16 and Q, 17. So, 17. 
So 17 plus 6 plus question mark equal to 30. So question mark equal to 30 minus 17 plus 6 equal to 30 minus 23 equal to 7. So, what is the corresponding letter of the number 7? Is G. So, if we replace question mark with the letter G, then the pattern will be completed. Okay, so have you got the logic? So thanks for your patience and many thanks for having with me for this session. Stay tuned for the next session. Okay. Thank you.